There are lots of ways to program your house, and this is probably a better one than I did earlier. Um, and just to look back at this graph paper uh, where I made some modifications, instead of doing this whole manual drag and drop base, what if we divided this into chunks of four blocks and started where this circle is and said, Turtle, you're going to start here and make four blocks in a row, turn right and move forward. And then that as itself would be one chunk of code because then all you need to do is repeat it because then it would go one two three four turn right and forward repeat again one two three four turn right and move forward and repeat again it would end up turning right moving forward but not placing anything so by writing this code for this we would have to do a lot less work less code and have a lot more potential so Whenever you start to think, well, how am I going to code that? I always advise first writing it or saying it out loud in pseudocode. And I'm going to do that exercise with you real quick. Um, so this might be a little more uh, advanced as far as nesting code, um, but not really. I, I wouldn't even say it's much more advanced. Um, but pseudocode is sort of code. Pseudo means kind of or soda, sort of. Uh, and you want to say it as if you're explaining it to a five-year-old and then we'll write our code okay so if we're gonna build this assume we're starting here and we're up in the air one if we're placing below us okay let's go back to this we first want to tell it re repeat and that we're not going to use the block repeat but and I'll say repeat all of this and what do we want it to do? Well, eat, before it places a block, we need to do a inventory check. Then we want it to place one block. That's it. And we're going to indent these because that's good uh, visual look. So this code right here, pseudocode, will essentially do this part. And now that we have that, we want to tell it to repeat it this once, twice, three times, four times. So back in our pseudocode, we want to have all of this. I'm going to indent all of that and put around that. We want to repeat all of that. End this down here. See, that should be repeat four times. We want to repeat this four times. So we're going to repeat four times the code that repeats the placing of one block, which will give us that entire chunk once, twice, three, four times. Now, how does that look inside of Minecraft with ComputerCraft? We are going to make a brand new program. But we're going to call this layer two oops can't do spaces so instead of using the repeat block which you could use but most programming languages don't have a block called that or a function called that so I'm actually going to be using a while statement um, and to do that we're going to use variables so in our first spot here we're going to say variable X and a variable is just a container you can name it anything you want that's a container that holds a value and so we're going to say X equals uh, four and that'll make more sense in a little bit and since we have something called four, I mean a score in a basketball game is technically a variable the variable score would equal however many points you have so in our case this variable called X is equal to four and then while X is oops not less than Get rid of that one. Is uh, greater than zero. Do. And if I put an end right here, what this is saying is, as long as x is greater than zero, continue to do what's between this do and the end. I'm going to hit enter there to kind of separate those. So we need to tell it to do some things and then change the value of x. 
So we want it to, well, we want it to first check the inventory. So we're going to go ahead and use that inventory check because before you place a block, you should always have it check the inventory. And then we want it to place a block below you. And now if we played this, it would continue running this forever because X is always going to be greater than zero because it's four. Unless we do something like, oops, bring that back up. Unless we do something like change the value of X. So I'm going to say, okay, X, you are equal to yourself minus one. So after it runs us, it says X is four. As long as X is greater than zero, check inventory, then place a block. Then X equals itself, which was four, minus one. So now when it gets here, X equals three. And it doesn't end because X is still greater than zero. Three is greater than zero. Then it does that, places a block, subtracts one from X, now it's two. Two is greater than zero. So it's going to do this, place a block, subtract one from X. One is greater than zero. Do this, subtract one. Zero is not greater than zero. So then it's going to go down to this line down here after it's done this four times, which is exactly what we wanted it to do was do whatever this stuff is four times. So let's see what happens. Oops. Assuming we are at the right position, of course. Oh, cannot place block here. We missed a step. We need to tell it to go forward. I should have looked at my pseudocode a little closer. Oh yeah, you can't place a block in the same spot every time. <laughs> Move forward. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay, let's tell him to move forward. Undo that last thing. He is up in the air one. That's a good starting position. Let's run this. Three, four. And then moves forward at the very end. So that's going to kind of mess us up a little bit because we really need him to place four and then uh, end up on that last block. So maybe we got to modify this a little bit and maybe put this at the beginning, I'm going to undo that, and let's try running it from here. Let's try running that again. Okay, looks good. He ends up on that. And then, oops, let's go to our program and say, when you're all done, go ahead and turn right. And I don't think I'll need to say move forward because of this move forward. So let's take all of this stuff using the space bar here. And I'm going to hit return here because this looks great and all, except it's only making one line. So I now want to repeat all of that stuff. So I'm going to add another variable here. And I'm going to just call this y. It doesn't matter what you call it y equals 4 as well. So remember if we look at our pseudocode we just did this chunk right here. What I'm doing now is saying well I need to repeat all of that stuff four times. So I'm just going to surround my existing repeat with another variable and while statement. So I'll space that in so that actually those technically should always be All right, that'll work. Now I'm going to have this be a while. I guess I didn't need to move those in that far. While y doesn't matter. It's not case sensitive, I don't believe. While y is greater than zero, do. And then I'll end it down here. Now remember, once it does one of these entire sets of four, 
I need to subtract 1 from y. So down here, after it's completed its set of four blocks and it turns, we need to say, okay, that's one of the sides. So y is now going to be equal to itself minus 1. y equals itself minus 1. There we go. Let's, yeah, that'd be fine. So now we have a while here that ends, set of four, and then while there. So let's see what happens. He's right there. Oops. Let's hit play. One, two, three, four. Oh no! So I reset that last one, and I I had to go f debug my own code, which was a great experience. So what happened here? Well, it went through and y is greater than zero so it started this loop and it said while x is greater than zero do this subtract one so it did that four times then this ended then it jumped into this block which is outside of this chunk let me zoom in here this chunk was over and so all that's left is this larger chunk everything outside the yellow but inside of the red and so it said y is greater than zero turn around subtract one y is greater than zero turn around or turn right and it repeated that four times that was the problem it was never able to make the next chunk of X because X is zero and so it wasn't able to do that so what we really need to do is after it turns right we need to recharge X's batteries or rather set X back up to four so X equals four because it's completed its first mission it's completed this and it turns and it needs to complete some more X which is placing these blocks or using that value so now that we recharge it it will go back into this repeat this four times turn right reset it and it will do all of that four times because each time it does that it will uh, subtract one from Y which was four at the beginning so now let's hit play Ta-da! Now the great thing about doing it this way is that we can expand this so much faster. If you do all drag and drop, let's say I wanted these values to be like 400 or f let's just go 40. Let's not be crazy. If I wanted it to be 40 by 40 by 40 by 40 all the way around, if you did drag and drop, you'd have to drag in a lot of blocks, at least two blocks for each one because it's moved forward in place. So you're talking a lot of blocks. However, in our code here, all I really need to do is change this and how much it recharges to here back to 40. Okay, so with very simple modifications, it's very powerful to use code rather than just manually dragging in all of the steps which will work but you're creating a lot of labor it's like plowing with a horse rather than a GPS controlled tractor you know for all the farmers